Module 5, Excel, Working with Multiple Worksheets and Workbooks. So go ahead and open the start file. There are actually two parts, but we'll start with the original start file. And the first thing we're going to do is widen the columns because if you look in A12 administrative, it's moving over into column B. So what we'll do is select column A, so right click on A, choose column width, and column A should be 20.57. And then we want to select B through G, so you can do all of them at the same time. Right click anywhere, column width will be 13.57. And then row four, just row four, right click, and row height will be 51.75, enter. Everything else is the default settings. So now, click in B4 and type 2020, and then press tab. And in column C, C4, you're going to type 2021. Now, to get it onto the next line, hold Alt and press Enter. So you're staying within the cell, but just starting a new line. And you'll type projected. Again, Alt, Enter, and then percent change, and then tab, and then D4, 2021, 20, tab, E4, another long one, 2022, 20, Alt, Enter, projected, Alt, Enter, percent change, tab, F4 is 2022, and the last one, G4, average, alt, enter, and percent change, enter. So if you were to look in the cell, it shows you in the formula bar what's in there. If you select C4, it's only showing you 2021, but if you hover in the formula bar, you'll get the double arrows, and you can make it uh, wider so that you can see everything. So everything is in there. So in order to get a new line within a cell, it's Alt Enter. All right, in B5, type 1, and then use your fill handle, and you're going to get all ones. Use the autofill options instead of copy series, choose fill, so it's 1 through 8. And then in C5, we're going to type 3%. And then you can press enter or check mark. And usually in the past directions for fill handle, I would do two cells for you so that you would know the pattern. But there's another way you can do it. So you just do the first one. Then with the open plus, select all of the cells, go to fill in the editing group, choose series, and we want it to step value will be 0.031. So this first one should be 6.1, then 9.2. We don't see the decimals because it's only one place. So increase decimal two places. And there you have it. In E5, it'll be 4%. Check. And again, select with the open plus E5 all the way to E12. Go back to the editing group, fill, series, and this value will be point. Zero two, And the same thing will happen is we won't see the decimal place, so increase it two decimal places. In G3, we're going to use the today date formula. So you can go to formulas, choose date and time, and select today. Or if you remember it, it's equal today, open close parentheses, enter. And then, of course, they want you to change the date style. So if you right-click, you can go to Format Cells, make sure it's date, and the one they want is the last one. So it's the, the day, then the abbreviated month, and the year. So now we're getting ready for some formulas. And the first one we're going to type in is B5, and the formula is equals and we'll open the open parentheses, B5 
plus B5, it sounds silly, but I'll explain in a minute, times C5, and then close parentheses. So what you're doing is in the math operation, if you remember your PEMDAS, it's going to multiply first, then add. So it's multiplying um, the 1 times the 3 and then adding it. So right now, it, if we were to go ahead and use our fill handle, it's uh, rounding them at different places. Some are at three places, some are at two places. So what we're going to do is go back to the original formula in D5 and then click up after the equal sign and type the word round. Then go to the end of the formula and after the five type comma two so that it'll round just two places. And then we just have to make sure we use the fill handle and it's just rounded to two places. In F5, the formula, we'll do it all, all at once, so it's equals round and then open parentheses, and again it's D5 plus D5 times E5, and then comma, round two places and close the parentheses, and then go ahead and use your fill handle. In the last formula in G5, they want you to round this time four places. So equals round, and then we're going to do two parentheses, and I'll explain why. So it's C5 plus E5, close parentheses. So it's going to do that um, inside parentheses first calculation, then divide by two, and comma, four, round by four, and then close. Whenever you have parentheses, you always have to have an opening and closing. So that's why there's two openings and there's two closings. And then check. So in the formula, it added C5 plus E5, then it divided by two. So you did the inside the parentheses first, then divide by two, and the comma four is just for the rounding part and then go ahead and fill handle. So go ahead and click in B13, and we just want to do auto sum. So just click the top part of auto sum. And again, it wants to select part of the formula, the title 2020. So use your open plus and reselect. And it should be just equal sum B5 through B12. And you'll get that little triangle. It's uh, letting you there's a trace error, like you made a mistake, you didn't include B4, but you really don't want B4, so that's okay. Um, what you can do is click trace arrow and then ignore error. In the next one, again in, in D5, you want the same auto sum. Reselect, so it's not including 2021. And again, because you just erase the error or ignore the error it did the same on D5. And then for F13, go ahead and do the auto sum. Again, reselect, so it's only F5 to F12 and enter. And again, the, the error message is not there. Select A1 and A2. The font is the default font, which is hard to read because it's so small. So go back to the Home tab, choose Cell Styles, and then choose Title. Then click just A1. So it's 18 for the font size. Just increase it one more click so it's size 20. And then select A1 through G1 and do your Merge and Center. Then click A2, and it's again, the title size is 18. They want it a little smaller, 16. And then select all the way to G and Merge and Center. And then you can select both A1 and 2 and go into your upset, your tipped over um, paint bucket and select any style font color you'd like. If you pick a darker color, then you can choose the font to be white. You can put in bold too if you'd like. Select B4 through G4, and you want these centered. So 2020 is centered above as a column title. So just click the center alignment. Now hold control and select A4. So you're selecting all of them. Or you could just reselect so that you have all of them. But because we had all the B through G to add 
A4, just hold control. Either way is fine. And then in, when all of them selected, go into cell styles and choose heading three. Select A13 to G13 back into cell styles and choose total. So you get that single and double underline. And now we're going to do a little bit of formatting so it's random. So the first thing you'll do is select B5, then hold control and select D5, F5, B13, D13, F13. And then you can right click anywhere and choose format cells and we'll go to um, under the category choose currency. Make sure it's two decimal places, the dollar sign, and then for negative numbers, you want them in parentheses in red and OK. Now we'll do some more selecting. So you'll select C5 to C12, full control, E5 to E13. I'm sorry, E12. I had it right, just said it wrong. So that be, should be C, E, and G. And in this one, it's going to be a little different. So you could right click, or you can also go up to the number category and then choose custom last one and then you're going to go where it says type and it's general and you're just going to backspace to get rid of it and you're going to make your own up and we want it 0 0.00 percent so it's two places and then for um, when you have a new command use your semicolon and then the square bracket magenta we're picking a specific color close the square bracket and then parentheses if it's in um, red uh, I mean, if it's a negative number, it would be in magenta, and you want it to be 0.00% and close parentheses. And then click OK. Make sure you have zeros and not O's, and then OK. The next thing we'll do is we'll select B6 to B12, Control, D6 to D12, and F6 to to F12. And these we just want the comma number style because if you can see the decimals are not lined up. So just select the comma style. Now select anywhere to deselect those and we're going to create a um, our own style. So if you went into cell styles you have bad, good, neutral, we use total, we use title. We're going to create our own. So click new style it's going to be called four dash digit year. Then click format. And the style for the date. So click the category date. We use the same one we did before. Then click alignment. And you want the horizontal alignment center. And then go to font. And you can select any font color you'd like. You can put it in bold if you'd like, and then go to fill, and then you can select any background fill color you'd like. There's your sample, and then click OK. And then for the check boxes, make sure that the border and protection are unchecked, and then click OK. So now if you click G3 and you want to use that style that you just created, Click Cell Styles, and there it is under Custom, and go ahead and click it. So I'm going to stop here, and then we'll do the multiple worksheets next in the part two of this Zoom, the um, screencast o -matic. So I'll see you in a little bit.